How's it going everyone? Frank Robles with Strength Equals. So, today's video, I wanted to show me, I'm starting to work with doing some explosive stuff, um, using the stones and some sandbag stuff. Uh, not only explosive, but again, awkward stuff, awkward movements. I've talked about this in the past. Um, you know, as you get older, I'm not old, I'm 45 years old and I've been doing this kind of stuff for, I don't know, since I was 20, so 25 years of doing this stuff. Uh, I've heard many times, maybe you've heard it, I've heard people say, you know, when you start getting towards my age, maybe start doing some more uh, controlled movements, watch the, uh, the joints and things like that, not as ballistic. I I'm not saying that's not true, it may be true, it may be uh, I'll learn. Uh, however, I kind of feel different about that. And maybe people disagree uh, but I feel as if within reason you got to keep that stuff alive uh, I understand you can't be old age you know at some point you gonna be 80 and moving slow uh, but I do think that being explosive as you can relative to what shape you're in is something that is vital to keep going because uh, I feel as you get older you get a little bit slower a little bit tighter and all those things I don't disagree if people want to do stretching yoga and all that stuff i think stretching is good keeping yourself mobile uh but i think just as important as that is keeping yourself powerful or ballistic and uh, i want to start working on that more um I'm not saying i'm really great at it so i'm starting to do some more stuff like with lighter stones um stuff to just kind of still feel some heaviness but to be a little explosive with it not that i am haven't been already with a lot of this stuff uh, lifting up stones is already explosive at times. I do do explosive lifting. Um, some would consider explosive when you're doing overhead pressing, uh, squatting, benching. I I'm not like bodybuilding where everything is nice and controlled and all that stuff. Um, so I feel like that has preserved me so far. And uh, we'll see. But anyhow, I do encourage whether you're 15, 20 years old, 30, 40, and 50, you know, um, to continue doing this. If you don't stop it and you keep it going, again, know your limits, but keep doing it and it's only gonna continue from there. So what I'm doing today, this, this stone, I weighed it, it's 40 pound stone, well, it's, it was exactly 40 pounds. And I'm just being explosive, throwing it behind my head. Now, full disclosure here, be careful doing this stuff, not only for muscle, uh, reasons joint reasons, but I'm throwing a rock so one make sure no one's around you or Safely no one around you and second be careful of yourself, you know always be cognizant and that's the other thing is I, I've said this before concentrate when you're lifting stones, so I've made bloopers before when I'm talking to people while trying to lift and I think I have a video where I slip Okay, all that stuff you can get injured. Okay, we're, we're not talking detrimental But when I think when you're throwing a rock in the air it might be uh, so anyhow, let me stop talking and let's get to work. What I want to do is a good, good five of these.
landing like right here. I'm trying to beat that. All right, that was five. I'm gonna try to beat that though. So, short video, I say get into it whether you want to do it with a rock, if you want to find something small, smaller, softer, a sandbag, whatever, something you can be explosive with. Challenge your, your limits where you are right now, but be modest, again, right now there's a 40 pound stone, as you saw I'm getting so far with it, I'm not measuring it out right now as far as, I don't know, maybe 12 feet, but I see where I'm landing over and over. My goal is to make sure I'm starting at the same spot. And I want to get a little further, a little further, and a little further. Um, and then maybe even increase the weight of the rock, you know, at, to some point. But I want that feeling of just feeling the snap, feeling the snap. I, I feel like I got some work to do in the hip, snap, all that stuff. So if you got any critiques, anybody out there who's been already doing this kind of stuff, I'd love to hear them. Um, so I'm going to do some other stuff uh, and I'm going to show videos of that. We'll have different segments. I'm going to show some other stuff that I'm going to be working on for more ballistic, a little bit more, uh, let's just call it violent movements. Just getting joints used to moving explosive. Uh, again, as I was saying in the beginning of this, I feel as you get older, you're already going to naturally want to move slower. Uh, and I think if we just avoid injury for the most part and then avoid stiffening up, I think getting used to doing those things. I think that's what life is. Life is about reflexing and moving quick. And I think that's where you get hurt. Well, that's just my philosophy. So, what's going on everyone? Again, Frank Roll, this is Strength Equals. So, this next movement that I've been training with today is a 100 pound sandbag. It's kind of loose too. It's a loose one, so it's a little more floppy. Anyhow, this one is just wrestling with it. Uh, as, as you'll see, uh, we're just getting down with it, being somewhat, ex again, the explosive, the, the awkward stuff, okay? Um, not much to talk about it. You'll see me doing it. I try to have a method to what I'm doing. I try to get down on the ground with it, wrestle with it, and throw it. You'll see. All right. That's five of those. As you can hear, definitely is fatiguing. Gets you down on the floor. Gets you doing uh, more of a violent movement. The ballistic are throwing over your shoulders. That's five of those. Probably do three, two more, three total rounds of that. Take a break. Uh, I don't know if you really want to watch me do that. But anyhow. That's what I advise you guys do. That's uh, pretty much the last movement I'm gonna do today of that style of stuff. The ballistic, uh, definitely awkward stuff. Not to replace the heavy stone lifting, heavy weight lifting, all of that stuff. This is in conjunction with all of that. So I say get that, you know? 
So this is a 100 pound bag. Eventually when that starts to feel a little easier, move up to I have a, the next jump is 120, next jump is 150, 175. I mean, pretty lethal if you can start doing the 245 pound bag that I have. Let's keep watching and see what happens. So as always, stay strong, not only physically, mentally, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.